This is Scuff's newest controller, the Reflex FPS. It's a custom PS5 controller with four removable paddles, instant triggers, interchangeable thumbsticks, and I'm excited to finally try out this controller and hope that it impresses me. This controller was released in December and I've been trying to get one since then, but this controller is not easy to get at all. Usually I don't go looking for new controllers to use and I'm kind of lucky I even knew about this before it got more attention. First, they sent me an email and I don't usually even open emails from Scuff, but I just came across it with some clickbait subject. It was like, it's here or something. And I opened it and I saw a PS5 controller, something I've always wanted to try, but never had the opportunity because PS5 controllers just don't have paddles. And I know that there's other companies that put out custom PS5 controllers. But if you watch my video where I just spent like $500 for no reason at all, they pretty much all disappointed me and I'm still missing my money right now. Like I said, I just really don't trust any random company anymore because more than likely, I just won't like the controller. Anyways, like a day or two later after I opened the scuff email, they dropped the controller and I got no emails until after they sold out and I didn't even have the chance to buy one. So I took the extra step and signed up for the text updates on the Reflex FPS drop, the highest tier controller from them, and I do not recommend doing that because I just gave Scuff full permission to spam my phone with everything but the drop notification. And if you don't know what a drop is, it's simply just an internet queue where you wait in a random generated place in line to buy the controller when it drops before it sells out. But back to the text notifications, I was looking at all the pointless text coming from Scuff and they finally gave me a notification that the controller was ready to buy. So I clicked that link and I went to the website and I was late the drop and they sold out of all of the controllers literally when it was about to be my turn why did they notify me late and later i noticed that they emailed me 30 minutes before they texted me for the drop and i never signed up for email updates it was just scuff's regular promo emails so i gave them the benefit of the doubt and i waited for the next drop right they go back to sending me promo text for controllers i really don't give one about and i never received any other text notifying me about the actual controller that i wanted and after one last promo text i just noticed it just stopped texting me altogether and i never canceled or opted out of notifications it literally took somebody pulling up to my facebook streams where i averaged less than four years to tell me that reflex was starting up another queue i got in early and i bought a controller and i was hyped to get it they sent me the confirmation and all that and then the controller shipped two weeks ago from taiwan and it got delayed by two weeks oh, after paying like 20 dollars for shipping <sighs> anyways i'm gonna tell you what i like about the controller what i don't like hopefully that's nothing and if I think this controller will be the next best pro controller before a lot more people realize that this controller even exists, which will make it even harder to buy. First things first, out of the box, the controller felt really nice. The first thing I did when I got the controller in my hands was switch my right stick to the raised analog stick included in the accessories box. I had two small complaints about this though. First, the raised analog stick is all black, which isn't that big of a deal, but if I'm paying $300 for a pro controller, I at least want the colors to match, right? Also, the ray stick was domed, not concave. I do not like dome sticks because they make my thumbs hurt, but it wasn't a problem for me at all once I started playing on it. Like I said before though, even though I don't really mind, it's $300 for a controller, so I still want that option. Even on the website, I don't even think they have concave sticks available, so this is the only thing you get out of your box to customize your controller with, so... I definitely want that option. The grip was surprisingly way better than I expected and the instant triggers and bumpers are game changers. It felt like zero input delay when I was building for the first time, but it was a little bit hard getting used to the right stick tension. The left stick is just movement so I can't really notice or care much, but the right stick is really, really easy to move, leading to less accuracy and more room to mess up. Which, by the way, I was doing a lot of trying to get used to the feel of this controller. It wasn't a bad feel at all though. It'll just take some getting used to.
And after building a few minutes, I noticed something was weird. I kept switching to my pickaxe accidentally, and for a second I thought my controller was broken. Then I realized I was misclicking the paddle next to my right finger, so I had to take it off, and I was not comfortable at taking the paddle off at all. There's really no instructions to guide you through it, and I really didn't want to use that much force. And then I got confused and took like 30 minutes being decisive because the website and the instructions both told me different information. But eventually, I took the paddle off with some force, thankfully without breaking it. and I was already building better. I wasn't misclicking anymore and everything felt perfect, except for the right analog tension thing I mentioned earlier, but I think the more that I play with this controller, I'll get used to it. I'm gonna show off some gameplay I got with this controller and then I want you guys to pay attention to how inconsistent my editing is. I'm hoping that this will change over time, but keep in mind, if you're not used to a super sensitive right stick, this might not be the controller for you. After using it for the first hour or two, I think it can definitely compete with the Astro C40 and possibly even be better if it stands the test of time. Four paddles is something that can obviously help you improve your game if you want to learn it. The instant triggers and bumpers are literally what every pro controller needs and even the grip deserves some more attention. But in a few months, will I get stick drift? Will the paddles and instant triggers still click like they're new? Will the grip wear off? I can't answer those right now, but I can say this controller has definitely surprised me. And if you don't care about the price tag or how hard it is to actually get one, you could take a big step and buy this controller. Personally, I wouldn't even go for the regular or even the pro reflex because after feeling the instant triggers, it's just something that I really need to play at my best. Are you interested in this controller? Do you want to see a full hand cam gameplay of me just playing with the new controller? Would you wait a few months for an updated video with a better opinion? Let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll try my best to read everything. Thanks for watching as always and see you in the next one.